Welcome to the 61st edition of Pod Universal, India's first pod magazine published by Prime Point Foundation. I am K. Srinivasan, editor of Pod Universal, welcoming you to this show. During the closing session of 14th Lok Sabha, Honorable Speaker Somnath Chatterjee expressed his serious concern that many members did not participate in the debates and nearly 24% of the parliament time was wasted in the shouting. Now a serious awareness has come amongst the voters to assess the performance of their MPs. When they are going to seek re-elections, the voters would demand their performance card. Already media has started analyzing the performance of individual MPs in the 14th Lok Sabha. Mr. S.K. Kharvendran, Member of Parliament in the 14th Lok Sabha from Palani constituency has emerged as number one in raising issues under Rule number 377 and in top five for putting questions using the question hour and participation in the debates on various bills. A lawyer turned the politician, Mr. S.K. Kharvindan, was even the chairman of Indian Bar Council in 1999. He was elected to the 11th Lok Sabha in 1996 and again in 14th Lok Sabha in 2004 as Congress member. In a freewheeling conversation with me over telephone, he shared his impressive performance card. Please listen to him now. Also, good evening, uh, Mr. Karvendan. Welcoming you to this show, Pod Universal, sir. Good evening, sir. Uh, congratulations that uh, we saw in the media that uh, you have uh, done extremely well in the 14th Parliament by raising various issues and questions. What made you to enter the politics? Is this the second uh, Lok Sabha that you yes, are sir. in? Yes, sir. Actually, in the year of 1968, I joined with Kamraj. I am completing 40 years experience in the politics. After seeing the Kamraj performance, I want to become a public man like following his footsteps, sir. So what is your uh, source of inspiration? Our way? Sir, we can take up the issues of the public. We can take all the public problems to the government. The proper way is entering into the parliament or assembly. I am to parliament, sir. I saw in a newspaper that you are the number one in uh, taking up uh, issues under rule number 377 in the 14th Lok Sabha. What is rule number 377? Sir, it is a special provision permitting the members to raise the state level, national level important issues in the house, sir. If we give a notice, speaker will permit us to raise the issues, sir. How many issues you have? Uh, I raised? raised 56 issues, sir. Uh, in all the... Yes, about my constituency, about my state, about my country, even Tamil people living abroad also I raised the issue, sir. I think the average number of issues is only six, I think, for the 14th Parliament. 166 members have not raised even one single issue. Uh, yes. Uh, that is the uh, position. What are the some of the issues that uh, it might have helped your constituency? Yes, sir, for example, uh, I raised the issue of uh, this uh, Murugan circuit that called uh, to connect all Murugan temples to be aided by Government of India Tourism. I got seven and a half crores for all the Murugan temples. For my Palani alone, I got four and a half crores. I done so many works for the improvement of Palani Hills, sir. In the same manner, CR Central Road Fund schemes I raised here. And also new railway line for Palani connecting E Road and Palani. I raised the issue, I got it. Like that number of issues I raised, I got it, sir. Any other thing at the national level? Sir, national level, when they they try to implement all court languages through Hindi, I raised the issue that was stopped, sir. And also when Malaysian Tamilians were beaten and arrested, I raised the issue and uh, most of the people were released, sir. Uh, likewise, likewise, I raised a number of issues involving the state and centre, sir. Uh, another important thing that I saw in the media is uh, you are in the top five amongst the number of questions raised, not the issues, number of questions raised in the parliament, in the question hours, and, uh, and the average number is around 167 for the Lok Sabha per member. Yes, sir. And 78 members have not raised even one single question. Yes, sir. But how many number of questions that you have raised in the past? I raised 1,204, sir. In all the all 14, 14 sessions? 14 sessions, sir. 14 sessions. What are the main or important uh, questions that you have raised? Actually, sir, about the day, each and every department, with respect to any 
performance or non performance of the departments i am having a secretary in my delhi office as well as my constituency office every day they are cutting all the press press release all the press communications collecting it then internet i collecting the particular materials and preparing the question i am filing and asking you talk about the internet how internet savvy you are uh, i am regularly i am we are, i am using it sir through internet only collecting all the subjects about the subjects suppose for example uh, the passengers facing the problem in train i am getting the railway ministry of railway all the particulars what are the facilities given to the railway passengers whether those things are used or not for example fertilizer ministry fertilizers how much they are allocating for the farmers whether it is reaching or not i am taking the particulars from the fertilizer ministry for example in the education ministry sarva shiksha abhiyan how much money is selected allocated by the government whether it reaches the panchayats and they are constructing the buildings likewise all the problems in my constituency in my state and also national level laboratory issue and also student issue what are all the issues are coming all the press every day and my first duty is seeing the press uh, all letters and also all communication through press that help me to prepare the question sir how many debates you have participated in the past sir other than 377 and question sir uh, about the uh, uh, legislative business and the budgets i have participated in 187 times sir i am the number one in tamil nadu Uh, that is at all india level how many all india level i may come 6th uh, or 7th rank sir oh very good sir how do you use the parliament library for your sir throughout country throughout not throughout the world one of the best libraries our indian parliament library every day i am going and sitting there uh, reading the materials collecting all the subjects from parliament sir that is very useful for me for preparation of the speeches and also questions regarding the mp funds the five years how much of funds that you might have uh, been allotted and how much you have spent i completed 10 crores sir that is for all the all, five years. all six constituencies first i given for the school buildings then anganwadis then cement roads in um, origin villages and also bus as a model bus shelters were constructed in my constituency sir fully construction work i completed work also completed all the works 99% of the works already inaugurated open sir now 14th lok sabha is under uh, you know criticism for non performance and other thing you are emerging as one of the top 5 mps in this uh, 14th lok sabha are you going to contest an election for this uh, 2009 election if sonia gandhi permits and give ticket certainly i will contest sir we wish that uh, you contest and you return to lok sabha in the 15th lok sabha and we would like to see you uh, Uh, in one of the top positions of this country the country needs a lot of uh, mps like you thank you very much mr karan thank you mr srinivasan your your approach you are taking this interest is very much encourage me if i am given ticket i got elected 15th lok sabha so i want to be number one in all subjects oh thank you and we want uh, more number of uh, karvindans in this country the entire lok sabha should be like karvindans and that should be a good tight competition amongst karvindans only Thank you sir thank so you so thank you very much That was Mr SK Kharwendan member of parliament from Paini constituency in Tamil Nadu in the 14th Lok Sabha sharing his impressive performance Thank you listeners hope you enjoyed this part show For more updates please log on to podiversal.com Please send in your comments and suggestions to editor at podiversal.com this is k srinivasan editor of podiversal signing off from the show till we meet next take care and bye